What's up guys, James here with Fun Fact of the Day. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, learning lots and getting stuff done. Now, real quick, I have a question for you. Have you ever just been standing around on a branch trying to sleep when you fell off and broke your neck and then while you were in the emergency room hospital bed wishing you had better insurance, you thought to yourself, how did those clever little birds stand on a branch all night without falling out? It just makes no sense. Well, Hopefully that exact scenario has never happened to you, and if it has, that's hilarious. But either way, I have an answer for you, so let's get into it. You see, they have a muscle group called the flexor digitorum longus that runs across the top of their arm to their digits, or their little fingers, and then they have a secondary muscle group called the flexor hallucis longus that runs basically the same to their thumb, or their hallus. Now, these aren't normal muscles like the muscles that you and I have. They're a lot stringier and more tendony, and so they're draped very carefully over this weird double-jointed ankle that these birds have. I'll have a picture of it right here so that you can see what I'm talking about. And when that ankle is bent, either from the upper muscles that they have on their legs or from landing on a branch, per se, those fingers contract because the muscles are pulled taut around the joints. So it essentially creates a vice grip-like grip for their hand, which causes them not to fall out of the tree even when they're asleep, because they have this heavy body kind of just sitting on top of there, making sure there's always tension on those joints. Now you might be thinking, but probably not, what about all the birds that are sleeping on the ground? Because they don't have little claws to sleep up in trees. Things like ducks. How do they stay alive without getting eaten by coyotes and bears and lions all the time? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that answer is much, much more interesting than the one I just gave you about feet. And it's so interesting, in fact, you might even end up liking this video. Well, you see, they use a crazy technique called unihemispherical slow wave sleep to literally sleep with one eye open, but it's more complicated than that. They literally turn off one half of their brain and let it sleep while the other half does basic life functions like keeping an eye out for predators and breathing. Now, interestingly enough, other animals use this exact same technique. Things like dolphins, career politicians, and whales do this in order to keep breathing during the night and during the day when they're supposed to kind of be awake and alert, but they don't actually need to do anything. So. Because, specifically, dolphins and whales, they can't sleep in the water completely or they would drown because their blowholes do all their breathing, which means that they need to be at the top of the water, swimming and breathing air. So, they alternate side to side in order to get enough rest during the day while still breathing and floating high enough in the water. Now, ducks do it even better. They have realized that with only one eye open, they're completely open to predators on the other side. So what they do is they line up in rows, in pairs with other ducks so that they sleep next to each other. And one duck will keep this eye open and the other duck will keep this eye open so that together they have almost a 360 degree view for predators so that they don't get eaten while they're asleep. And for a bonus fact, on top of all of this, you remember those weird bird feet we were talking about earlier? Well, that is the same way that predatory birds actually catch their prey. So things like hawks and falcons and things like that, when they dive down, they have their feet outstretched in front of them, and that keeps their hands open. And then their legs tuck in, and that forces their claws to close like a vice grip. That way, when they catch their prey, it can never wriggle free between the time that they've picked it up and the time that they get back for dinner. Now, real quick, after you subscribe, make sure to click the notification bell so that you can be really annoyed every single time I post a video. And on top of that, if you've ever wondered how these videos are made or you'd like to see some behind the scenes content or maybe you'd like to learn how to make your own face talking with subpar comedy videos, definitely click this link right here. I have a whole nother YouTube channel that goes in depth on all of those things. And if you're not interested in that, but you're still here somehow, definitely click this video right here. It'll be another fun fact video, and I bet it'll be fun and probably factual. So thank you very much, and I will see you soon.